everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and today we're gonna decorate this castle. Are you ready? Oh man, what to start with? I know I was really wishy-washy about it with the episode, but I decided to go ahead and share my decoration phase, because, uh, I don't know, I don't think this one will be too lengthy of a decor- Usually the decorations take me hours. You know, if the build takes three hours, the decorations take six. That's just how it goes. Um, but this is pretty open. This is like one of my more open air builds that I've ever really made. So I don't know. I think it won't be too, too ridiculous to record and cut down. <laughs> anyway, let's get started somewhere. I've really got this spot in mind right now. So we're going to work in here right now. Um, first, we got to pick a height because I'm putting in a second story in here. We're going to put in a second floor. And it's not going to be like a true second story. Um, that looks perfect, just like that. There we go. Yeah, it's not going to be like a true the second story. We're not going to seal it in and make it livable and everything. It's just going to be like the space above our storage down here. Let me make sure that's tall enough. Let's get up there. There we go. Is that going to be enough space? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Want it to be pretty high. A lot of this gets super repetitive with the decorating and the building and the just like filling in all the spaces and stuff. So I may skip around a lot. You know, it's more of a decorating is is more of a more of a feels thing anyway. This is less of a how-to and more of a here's what I'm thinking and here's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you tell me if it's helpful or not. Hopefully it is. Maybe we could just bring it in, uh, the one piece. Uh, do a little one-by-one one flooring instead. Get just a little bit more space here. Let's do that. This actually might help with the idea I have uh, for support, because I want the image of support out here. Obviously, we don't need it, um, and that's fine. We don't really need it, because the, the stone, the wall behind us is, is holding most of the support. But, well, it, it doesn't matter. Do. By the way, if you're looking for the build and you want to see this build, if you just here to check out the decorations and stuff, I actually have this entire build in another episode, the episode uh, previous to this one. Um, uh, yeah, or actually, it might, maybe it'll come out after. I'm not sure when I'm going to release them. <laughs> there you go. I'll keep you in the dark. Who knows? Which one's going to happen first? Well, actually, you'll know before I do, actually, if that doesn't. That's just silly. Whatever. I'm going to stop talking now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's build this over. Starting out here because the wall kind of angles, but that should match up. Yep. Got it. Nailed it on the first try. Look at that. Uh, and that comes to a one by one right there. Let's go. Let's do the same thing over here. We can move the ladder out. One by one. There. And again, this is just what I would do with the space. You know, if you ever decide to try any builds like this, try and make it your own. Do your own thing. This is just how I would decorate the spaces. There we go. Just like that. There we go. That kind of gives it a nice little rounded edge. Let me see if I can duplicate that over here. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then, you know, we just seal in the floor. I'm gonna bring this just straight back like this. And probably just another one snapped right there in the center. There we go. And fill that in as well. Nice, now we have this awesome little like raised kind of semi-circular platform upstairs. Look at that, that's awesome. All right, now we need a way to get up there. We're gonna use this side. We may actually double up on it. Um, so what I'm gonna do here Get rid of the one by one floorings. Add in a one by uh, the two by two flooring. I almost said one by two, but there are no one by two floorings. That would be cool though. I wouldn't mind seeing those. Let's snap that down into the floor like so. There we go. 
That's enough space for us to get up here. Perfect. Yeah, that's all we need. We may do. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. I'm going to duplicate that on the other side, too. Let's get a little symmetry in here. Oh, nope. That's just the right size. There we go. This is a big space. You can do a lot with this in here. I mean, you can you don't even need the bonfire. You could get rid of the bonfire and put something else in here. You could really make this into something pretty cool. I'm going to turn it into our workshop and smithing area. It's a little the ceiling is a little high, a uh, little low in here, but I like it. I like that there's going to be a lot of storage beneath us cuz that's all going to be so we're going to make that so much storage. Um, let me finish sealing in the floor real quick. There we go. All right, we need railings now. Um, gonna use a lot of uh, the iron pole railings just for fun, just because, because I can. Because it'll go with the ceiling. We've already got the ceiling kind of going pretty well above us. So we've got a bunch of that just kind of like, we've used it for uh, support. So I just kind of want to keep the theme up. And there we go. Nice, super simple. All right, we've got plenty of fire in here, so we just need some light up here. Um, I think light is probably gonna, I'll build some light once we get some tables and stuff set up, but I kind of want to finish doing some more railing and outlining on these ladders. Um, I do a lot of this kind of work when I'm decorating, just a lot of like outlining, and that, that really is all it is. Oh wait, no, we're using uh, lots of iron pole this time, yeah. That's all it is, it's just a bunch of outlining. It's really easy. But it adds so much. There we go. A couple of nice staircases. Nice and supported with railings. Look at that. That's solid. Super solid. All right, let's get up there and start throwing and bouncing tables. All right, so where's m the middle here? We got pretty much like right here. All right, so let's break the room in half a little bit. There we go. So I want a lot of this stone to show. The only reason we're building this out a little bit is just to give us something to kind of attach some of the... Uh, uh, upgrade stations too, so you're gonna need to do that. It's unavoidable. All right, let's get a little more light up here. What do you say? We'll just put some standing torches up here for now. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so I know I've got everything here, but we're not working with everything. I'm only working with this. Uh, if you're new to the build through, we're only building with the materials that are available to us in each of the biomes. And right now I'm in the mountains. If you want to go and check out um, black forest builds or meadow builds or um, swamp builds, which are really cool. Those are previous and they have even less of this stuff um, because I was only building with what was available. So this is what we're actually building with. We're not building with everything. Um, so what do we have? What are we going to work with today? Yeah, this will be the workbench side. We'll put the forge over on this side. Let's go ahead and just throw that down just to establish. We have our sides picked out. All right. Now then, maybe a little more light. What do you say? There we go. All right, there's the workbench. I always love to have tables or like, not, not nah, table's probably the wrong word, not table. Uh, Just kind of like, there we go. Just a little, I guess it's a table. You can call it, let's call it a table. It's a table. Oh, look at that. Can we have this go the entire length? I think we can actually, that's really cool. I'm gonna keep that, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's build this out the whole way. Nice, the same height the whole way across. I really like that. That's actually really awesome. That works out really well. Let's go ahead and pull this around the workbench. Place one in behind it. There we go. 
Very cool, actually. Look at that. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's throw some more. All right, so always start with the necessities. When I'm decorating and when I'm building, um, always start with the workbench and then all the upgrades. You know, toss them around everywhere. Oh, can it reach all the way over here? Oh, so close. That's almost perfect. You know what? Let's try and pull this away from... Well, if I move it, I won't be able to replace it. What other... Oh, the ad... Oh, uh, yeah, the ads will go good here. Yes, actually. Perfect. I like that. Might have to add a little table on either side of it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I like how that can be sunk into the dirt wall so deeply. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and just put that right there next to the table. I don't want to put one on either side now. Kind of get a little decorative with it. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. All right, we do have iron and obsidian because we're on the mountain. You get obsidian on the mountain, so I want to put this here. Look at how deeply that's sunk into the wall, though. Not going to do. Can't do that. So we're going to add one little two-meter wood beam right here into the wall. And that should give us what we need to pull it out. Oh, need to make it way lower. Okay. You know what? Let's make this easier on ourselves and just put a whole wall in the back there, shall we? No, I don't want that because I, I want it to be a little hidden. I want it to look like it's just hanging on the wall back there. Oh, perfect. Just like that. All right, yeah. Just like that. Cool. Yeah, that looks great. Let's leave it like that. Perfect. Oh, I should have a meal. Om nom nom. All the stamina foods. So we can build and build and build. Alright, what are we missing? Just the chopping block. I guess the chopping block really can just go right next to it somewhere. Um, it just occurred to me all these tables need supports. It's going to take a while to do this, but this is how I'm going to do all the supports. I want to cover up all of these little out juts. These little... See how the flooring pieces have these little... Um, these little tiny pieces just sticking out? I'm going to use all of those as a spot to put in a little bit of support. So I'm going to free place... You've seen me do this before. I'm going to free place a one meter beam in the back and then bring the front up. Bam, just like that. Sometimes That was actually really lucky. Sometimes it takes a few, a few uh, guesses. Ooh, I guess I've been doing it a lot lately, so I'm, I'm getting really lucky here. Um, but that's how I like to do my support also hides that little beam piece really nice. So I'm going to do this for all of them. Bring it back when that's done and we're continuing with our decorations. But if we're going to place something in front of it, I usually do tend to seal it up. So I'm going to put this chopping block over here as far away as we can. There we go. Probably like that. There we go. And we'll seal that up just to make it look better in front yeah uh we're gonna add some storage under here though always love tucking storage in underneath these low benches these low tables and we do need a lot of storage anyway so I'll, we're just gonna toss a ton of them in anywhere we can find space yeah oh yeah now it feels really solid look at that Nice. All right, and that's a fully upgraded workbench right there. Bam. No problem, right? That's all it needs. Chopping block, tanning rack, adds, and the tool shelf. Yep, we're good. Let's go get our forge going. All right, we're going to move some of this out of the way. Want to put the forge here in the table itself. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Go ahead and squeeze that in right there, and then we can build this back. There we go. Oh, even along the backside? Yeah, nice, very nice. And get rid of all of that as well. Yeah, there we go. You can get to that pretty easy. All right, what else do we need? 
Oh yeah, I always need this. You know what? Let's try and extend the table out this way. Because I always like having this stuff built into a table. And I think I'm going to continue that tradition right now. Perfect. Alright, let's get rid of... Oh, you know what, actually? Let's get rid of all of these. Remove this one. And probably this one. I think we can get them close enough. I feel like I just did this recently on a previous build, but I always like to do it. It always looks so good. Let's see if we can get the wheel in over here. Nice. I think we can. Yeah, we may have to build the wall out just a little more. I'm not sure. Or not the wall, the, uh, the table here. Nope, that wraps it up. Nice. Then the other thing we need... Oh, perfect, it will fit here. I love that. Nice. Just gotta make sure it'll fit. Uh, why won't it... Oh, there we go. Hang on. Okay, it just needs to be back away from the... There we go, how about there? Perfect! Now they look like they're part of the table. <laughs> and then we can seal it in. There we go. I'm even going to replace this pillar on the end to bring it out a little more like the yeah, like the, the wall down there is. Because I had to build it out just a little bit to make it work. There we go. Oh, that looks great. Love it. Alright, what else do we need? We have the little anvils, have the grinding wheel. Need a cooler. Always need a cooler. Cooler over there. And the tool rack. Again, we're going to have an issue with the tool rack and the dirt wall. So we're going to take, do the same thing that we did last time. Uh-oh. Yeah, this way, like this, because then it'll match the... There we go. All right. You know what? Let's do a full one. There we go. Right here. Just for looks, I think we're going to extend it the entire way across. Yeah, it will sink into the wall anyway, so that's perfect. Then we can hang our tools up right here for ourselves. I'm going to off-center it a little bit. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> uh, you know what? Just for fun, let's throw a workbench down. And use the workbench tool shelf too. Yeah. You can get rid of the workbench. Throw up the rest of the tools. Bam! Oh, that looks awesome. Now we have a bunch of tools over here. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Awesome. Alright, so that takes care of all the important things. Uh, let's shrink the list again. What else are we working with? Nope, that's it. That takes care of all the upgrades. Very nice, very nice. You know what this house doesn't have, actually? A kitchen. I didn't put a kitchen anywhere. Foolish, Hiccup. Foolish. All right, let's put some shelving in here. We're going to need a little bit of shelving. Yeah, there we go. There's a little more shelving there. I like this dip in the wall that we have here, so I'm going to use this for some more shelving. We're going to try and keep it really deep in the wall, though. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, anywhere else? No, that's pretty much it for shelving, I think. Look at this. Uh, since I've been walking around up here, I actually kind of feel the need to put these in. I think this will just really add a lot of weight, a lot of, a lot of, it, it's going to look good. Trust me, it's going to look good. There we go. Yeah, that just adds a lot of weight. I like that. Makes it seem really sturdy. I'm going to go ahead and add it on the staircases as well. All right. I usually like to go pretty heavy on the storage around my workbenches. I think 
think we're going to go ahead and do that a little bit. We're going to toss in a couple of these bigger storage chests here and there. There we go. Got a couple of them. Let's throw in a couple of the normal, a couple more normal storage chests. I know we have a, a bunch around here already. I always like to try and twist them at least once or twice. Um, it just kind of adds a, uh, I don't know, it just adds a little bit of clutter feel to the house, which I always enjoy. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of want to build a little table around this one now. There we go, table duplicated. Although that one sticks out a little bit more. This one has some slightly tighter legs. I do not mind if my tables are a little bit different. Sometimes it adds a little variety, a little flavor to all the build. So I usually try not to over overthink it too much. We'll just leave it like that. That is probably it for up here. Um, after that, I usually just go around and throw a bunch of these item stands down and try to fill them in. You'll see me put gold and jewels and uh, tool, usually around the workbenches and stuff, I'll have tools and weapons, so we'll probably hang some of that around here. Um, top shelf, too, we'll probably put some gold. Maybe even a couple more of these, uh, these little personal storage chests, because these always look good up in tight corners like that, so we'll have a few of them kind of hidden around. That's what I was going to do up here. Also, carpets, too, you know, um, we're only, we're only using, um, deer, wolf, and red jude right now. But uh, probably a little more wolf up here, I can see. I usually like to use wolf as, like, I'm standing here working. So, like, this would probably go in front of the um, front of the workbenches like this. And then I like to use a deer rug as kind of like an entranceway marker or kind of like a pathway marker. So, like, walk over this way, you know? Like, here we go. A little bit like this, kind of. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. But I won't, uh, we're not going to take time to do that here. I've got plenty more building and decorating to do. I'll come back and add in all those tiny finishing pieces. Lighting is kind of the same thing. I usually like to uh, wait till it's nighttime or uh, at least change it to nighttime. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and mess with lighting just a little bit. Maybe we do need a torch right about right here. I'm going to put a torch right here. I'm also going to hide it inside one of these beams. And I like to do that by placing a beam next to it. There we go. Just like that. We're going to hide it right in there and make it really look like it's supposed to be there. This side definitely needs some more light too. Hang on. Oh, this one burnt out. Need to bring it lower. All right, we're going to fudge this one a little bit with a corner piece. Yeah, see, that looks okay. Yeah, that one was a little tricky, <laughs> but that one turned out okay. Nice, and we have our upstairs. Like I said, I'll probably come back and add a little bit more, um, but it's really just going to be placeables. We might even add some armor stands. Um, actually, yeah, that would look pretty good in here, huh? Yeah, that would look good. Do you like that? Just like that. Oh yeah, that'll look great. All right, so we're gonna leave this alone for now. Um, like I said, I, I will come back and add just like hammers and swords and shields. We may even hang some uh, some drapes and stuff, but that's all preference. You can pretty much hang that wherever you want along the walls, behind stuff. You know, oh, the actually the drapes might not hang very well in here. <laughs> we didn't leave ourselves a lot of room. All right, that's enough up here though. That's pretty much what I would do up here. You know, if this was my build and this is how I was going to do it, this is what I would do. This is a big open build, though. You build something like this, you can really do whatever you want. Now, down here was going to be just a lot of storage. I really wanted to see, like, a lot of storage. Um, one thing I would like to do, though, is in the back actually get, like, not... So I want a lot of this, like, really natural storage, but I also want to build some shelving in the back for some uh, some of the larger storage bins. 
We're going to keep our pattern by following that down just like that. Building this back. And we'll build it just like that to the left and right until we hit wall, I think. Perfect. I think that should be big enough. I'd actually like to kind of angle it back so that it does disappear into the wall. One, two, let's do it like that. Angle it again, one, two, nice. Let's go ahead and build that straight down. And this as well. Start adding in some. Oh, look at that. We need to add some more flooring in here. How'd I miss this? There we go. Now the floor is much more sealed in. All right. Actually, it looks like we need to build this out just a little bit to make more space for all this actual, the actual storage boxes themselves. So I'm just going to go one meter forward and we're going to use we're going to start using these uh well no we'll stick to the iron beam there we go okay now we can add in a little bit of flooring so that we can actually start putting in some storage units Top layer is more just to make a, uh, yeah, there we go. Finish up the shelving and let's kind of seal it in too. I'm going to use full wood walls just to really build it back into the, into the dirt wall there. Very nice. And then I really just wanted to spam these. We're just going to put these in here. This is really what it's all about back here. I really just want a bunch of these in here so we can use it as a massive storage. Oop. There we go. All right, so how many can we fit in here? I am not trying to fit perfectly like four of these in here. I probably could if I was really careful about it, but we're not going to do that. There we go. We got four up top, three on the bottom. Kind of jumble it up a little bit, make it a little messy. For me, it always makes it a little bit more believable. that's some storage right there and then on the sides we're really just going to stack up a bunch of lumber and and whatever else we need uh, you can build this way back into the wall and i like to overstack everything also like to kind of stack the wood on top of each other if you can manage it it's really fun there we go go a little fine wood stacked up over here right next to the fire got a bunch of stone over here go a little crazy with it I always like to give Give uh, whatever I'm placing a little twist after every placement, just to just to give it a little bit more variety, make it stand out a little bit. There we go. Kind of try to stack them on top of each other, sink them down just a little bit. Swirl it around. There we go. There we go. Good stack of logs. 
maybe even a couple right up front. Try to, I always try to make this look like a full log. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do. Almost impossible, really, but does that look like one full? Yeah, that, that's not bad. Another thing I really like to do is take some of these building pieces and stack these up as if we were going to use them later. This is something I've always really enjoyed doing when I'm doing a build through. Got it stacked up like it's, like it's material to be used for later, you know? Like, I just love that feeling. I'll make it a little sloppy. Just kind of place them around everywhere. Nice. Look at that. Nice and cluttered down here now. I like that a lot. That just looks really busy. Lots of storage everywhere. All right, we do need a kitchen somewhere. Which, you know, oddly enough, actually, I wonder if this works as a kitchen. I've got this set up to where we can put that pretty darn close, and I think that would actually cook something. The problem is with the pot work, the, the uh, not the pot, the, uh, the cauldron, that this actually cook. Oh my gosh, it does. What? Hang on. We might be able to put the kitchen right here. That's kind of hilarious, actually. I did not expect that. There we go. Is that big enough for a little kitchen for us? I think it is. Let's go ahead and try and set this up nearby. Yeah, that's what we want. talking nice let's go ahead and add a little support beam right here toss a little food chest under here maybe a little personal one too just for snacks <laughs> We're not going to go super crazy with it, um, although I may want to build it up at least one. I'm going to keep with the theme of these um, the wood beams rather than the iron beams. I do want the kitchen to kind of not, not stand out per se, but uh, it does need to look a little different, I think, because it is kind of just this little, little odd little spot here in the middle of everything. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome to the little kitchen. <laughs> That's great, actually. I really like that. All right, let's try and raise this wall up. Just one more. And then add this to the front. And then maybe we can hang it off of that. Yes, look at that. That works. Perfect. And we don't have anything else. That's it. That's all we've got. We do have the oven, which I'm not going to use right now. Um, I have used the... Um, I don't think we're going to use the oven in this build. Um, I have used a windmill once or twice, and you need the... Um, what is it called? The, uh, the artisan table. And I have placed the artisan table around for decoration. Um, but technically, you don't get the artisan table until after you've beaten motor. Now, technically, we could have beaten motor and had it by now. That's why I placed it uh, sometimes, but... Uh, the oven and the windmill really require a lot of like barley and wheat, which is the next biome. So while I've used it for decorating in a, a couple of builds so far, I'm not going to use it in this build. We'll get more into those next time. All right, I think that does it for here. 
That looks great, though. I really like that. We're going to go ahead and turn the uh, the lights back on here. Let's bring the sun back up. There we go. All right, next on the list. I'm going to fly to do this just to make life a little easier. I'm going to add some railings to these stairs, and it's really simple. Probably going to cut most of it out, honestly, because we're really just doing this. Um, and I am going to overlap a lot of them, so you're going to see a lot of overlapping because a lot of it is kind of half, so this will go here. And this piece will probably actually have to be one of these little blocks. Hmm. Might actually be easier and look better to do it all with the wooden beam instead. Yeah, here I'll show you. Let me let's go ahead and outline at least one little section here. Angle up the stairs. Little beam. Little beam. Angle up the stairs, little beam, little beam. And then after that's done, we'll go back and add in one of these little beams at all the corners. Yeah, I may do an immediate, yeah. Instead of angling it with this one or with that one, we may use the in-between. <laughs> I think I can do that for all of them, actually. Yes, I can, and that's gonna look good. All right, so I'm gonna do that everywhere all up this I don't, I'm not gonna show the whole thing we're just gonna knock it out really quick I'll bring you back when it's done okay I think that does take care of the railings there we go yeah that looks awesome all right we got the lower area now let's work on the upper area so we have our kitchen our workbenches and everything downstairs we're just gonna put a bedroom up here and I kind of want to start with the windows right here we're gonna put a little bit of glass in here Let's use a little bit of iron beam to make ourselves look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and stick that in about halfway here, right in the corner, and then work our way across. We do the same thing. We're going to raise it up, and we're going to work our way. You have to free place this. If you don't free place it, uh, and it's going to snap way up into the stone and you'll never see it. So what I'm doing is just tucking it into the corner here as far as it'll go. But I want it to stand down. And we're just using that beam right there to line it up with. Perfect. Just like that. Once that's there, we should be able to put it in the glass. No problem. fan of that. Wish we could sink it a little further. There we go. There we go. We're going to have to put the, uh, yeah, we'll put the iron beam back now real quick before we lose it. All right, so that's a little tricky, but nothing too hard. I like that. That looks really good. Go ahead and snap this in on either side. Nice, nice window. All right, we're going to have to do something similar here, but we need a door here. So let's go ahead and put our door in first. And we want the door to be about halfway too. So you know what? Let's go ahead and start with the beams, the iron beams. Let's do the same thing we did on the other side. We're going to kind of find center. Just kind of plop that down right there and run this over here. Get rid of that. And then we'll put the door... Well, let's run these beams up, actually. There we go. And then back into the wall. And again, you have to free place this one. Very cool. All right, now let's see if we can get the door in there. There we go, and the door wanted to snap right to those beams. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and run the beams down into the floor. Seal the door in as best we can. There we go. We're going to run it across to the top. 
The door was standing up a little tall for me, so I'm free placing it and putting it up against that beam in the back. And we're just going to kind of sink it into the floor just a little bit because I really want it to feel sealed up. There we go. That feels better. Yeah. And then we can put our glass in on the sides. Cool. <laughs> All right, I always like to have a really fancy bed. So let's go ahead and try, and what is center here? Right here, these two? Okay, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a pretty big bed. There we go. Super fancy. <laughs> All right, we're going with the dragon bed. Ooh, there we go. Ah, oh, we might need to pull that out just a little bit more, you know? You know what? Let's have the stairs on the side instead of the front. I always like that. That always looks pretty good. It always saves a little room, too. Yeah, let's do it this way. All right, then we'll place the bed in here somewhere else. Here we go. Still want to tuck it against the wall as pretty much as much as possible. There we go. Very nice. Fancy bed. Fancy, fancy. All right, let's give it a little bit of a, what, a, what, do you, what would you call that? A canopy? Something. <laughs> there we go. We'll add some drapes and stuff in to really make it look and feel sealed in. I'm gonna add the we're gonna use the black drapes just because I feel like that's that's a good it's good for dark, you know, for sleeping. We like that. Nice. Maybe some different colors up front. Let's go uh blue up front, maybe? Blue and yellow. <laughs> that makes for a nice little bed area. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some flooring in up top just to really seal this in and make it look complete, kind of. Yeah, there we go. Almost want to put these in too, just to just to kind of mix it up, make it feel like the bed is really built on top of a piece of flooring or something. You know that feels really good. Awesome. All right, we need some coziness in here though. We need to make this place like a little more livable. You know what I'm saying? Can we use another window here? Probably. A window to what though? That doesn't really show off much, does it? It's not much of a window, but I guess we could use it. Bam! Super fast window. Nice. There we go. Little window there. What about over here? Can we duplicate that? Do you think we need another window over here? No, that is even. That's got almost no view whatsoever. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's turn this into our um, our little storage area. Nice. Just a little storage shelving over here. I always like shelving. Shelving always just looks really good. Nice. 
Nice. We're going to try and add in another wall on the sides here because it's... Yeah, it's not really... There we go. There we go. And then it sealed it in so much better. Let me see if I can add some more beams to pull that out. Perfect. Yeah, that looks a lot better. There we go. Now it's really sealed in, kind of built into the wall like that. I like that. I like that. All right. We need... Uh... You know what we need is we need a cool little bench or something right here. Hmm, hard to do. Ah, there we go. Nice little table. Could do with a big double table right here. Nice. And a random stool. There we go. Now we're lacking some light in here. Definitely need some light. There we go. Nice and dark. So we have a little bit of light coming from downstairs up here. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a little more light in here. I'm not sure that one's going to stay lit. There might not be enough overhead space for it. But if it does, I think it'd be a really good spot for one. Oh, it looks like it's going to stay. All right, well, that's all the light we need for this place. All right, I did want to put... We need at least one little couch. I always like putting in one little sitting area couch thing, so we're definitely going to put one in right here. And we have no logs. We're not, we haven't been building with logs in this, so you know what? Let's go ahead and try to build this one out of logs just to make it a little different. Really make it stand out. There we go. You know what? Let's do that. Let's start with that. And then we'll put the bench in as deep as we can. There we go. Just like that. Maybe a little out. So that everybody can sit on it. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Okay. And then we'll put in those side uh, armchair pieces like I wanted. Just like that. Stack them, what, too tall? Ah, there we go. Much better. Look at that. Very nice. Just a nice little sitting area. Let's put a couple little tables on the side here. Go ahead and add a little custom table. Well, no. I don't know. That doesn't really need a whole lot, you know? We're going to put some more storage in here, mostly. Uh, lots of storage everywhere all the time. <laughs> you always need a ton of it. So it's always nice to just have a giant surplus of storage everywhere you are. And I will come back and clutter these again. Like I said, I usually come back and clutter them. We'll put a bunch of these uh, little item stands down. And I just put a bunch. Of, in, in a bedroom like this, I like to put potions. We'll put some meals on the table. Um, you know, item stands just pretty much go on top of all of these things. We're also going to hang a lot of stuff. I think uh, this wall is probably going to be very prominent for hanging material. This one too. And this one as well. So all three of these walls. I actually don't want to put too much more up along all of these walls. I really like this chair. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more light right here. Maybe not, though. That might be too much. Ah, uh, maybe not. That's not... Oh, that didn't like it. Need to be down a little lower. Let's put it, like, right in front of the table. There we go. That's not terrible. Ah, uh, it still doesn't like it. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Okay. No, I guess we really don't need light over here. It's fine. That's fine. Just the way it is. All right, a couple more, maybe a uh, little decorative item stands or weapon, not weapon, um, armor stands up here. Yeah, a couple of these around too would be really nice. Very cool, very cool. Man, that's looking good. All right, we're going to use the 
Let's grab the hoe. And out here, I definitely want to turn all of this into cobblestone. Make it look really finished and nice. Go ahead and run that all the way to the edge. Okay. Now this is kind of like the edge of our, our area here. I kind of want to... Um, yeah, I kind of want to sink in. Here we go. Perfect. Let's sink in a little bit of fencing and just mark our area here, shall we? There we go. I think that's awesome. I just kind of want to uh, lower this this section up here in the front so that we can actually kind of have like some place to really get a good view. Oh, nope. Yeah, we went one, twist, two, three. There we go. There we go. That way we can't really, you know, run over the edge really easily, but kind of gives us just a little bit better view there. I really like that. I really do just make this up as I go along. Like, if you can't tell, if you didn't know. Yeah, that looks great. Now we really have an opening. I really love this opening. This opening came out really well. Um, part of me wants to mess with it and try to do some more with it, but part of me kind of wants to leave it alone because I really like it the way it is. Um, anyway, this whole base is missing something. It's missing uh, a very crucial piece. All right, so I need to build all of this up pretty good real quick. Give me one minute. <laughs> there we go. Just keep that little pattern going. I like that. All right, so out here, uh, the only thing I'm really missing from this base build is um, some smelter and kilns. So I'm going to go ahead and try and set those up back here real quick on a nice little platform for themselves. I'm going to try and build it right up to the side of the house here. There we go. I'm just building all of this out twice. That should be plenty of space. I always like to build my smelter and kiln up a little higher uh, and then have them kind of like drop their material down into a pit for me. Okay, that one needs to come forward a little bit more. We're going to leave it right there and I'll build around it and we'll really make it, make it good, make it capture itself. And then the... Forge, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to kind of bring it right here to the edge. Let's keep it right here, actually. That way we can kind of walk around it. There we go. Right to the edge. Nice. All right, let's build up a little bit of a walkway here. Some railings, if you will. Nice. Just adding this on the side to make it seem really solid. There we go. Wrapped. Maybe we should go more this size. Yeah, let's try this angle instead. There we go. Yes, that feels much better. All right, let's try and add some of this in underneath just to make it feel a little more solid. There we go. And then I always like to add a little wood right here. Just to break it up from all the stone and to kind of just, this is what we're using to catch all of that coal in. There we go. Look at that. There we go. Nice little coal catch base. And we're going to do something very similar for this over here. I do want to have um, a little bit of stone. So, yeah, here we go. We want to have this walkway come down. Want to be able to go up and down right there for sure so we can get around everything. There we go. All right. Got it centered now. <laughs> Took a few tries. Um, didn't really do anything too special or fancy with it. Don't ask me why. I just kind of wanted to put that little ramp in there just for fun. <laughs> I think it's cool. Should just let the metal slide right down into our little catch basin here. And I just think that's fun. There we go. Nice. 
place. All right. Then just a little railing up here so that we don't fall down. That should be more than enough to light this whole place up. There we go. Nice. All right. The last thing this place really needs before I just go around and put like little details everywhere and start putting little items in all the item stands and trophies on the walls because that's really just I just throw that stuff everywhere anywhere it looks like the wall is too empty you know I might even put some over these doors right here but not a whole lot I'm not looking to go crazy crazy this place already looks pretty cool and the outdoors is a little less inviting to build in on the mountain anyway just because it is always so snowy it just kind of makes the outside look a little dead no matter what you do um which is why I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm excited to get to the plains. I'm going to be really excited to make some farm builds and stuff. This is just like a lot of castles and snow cabins. and Not, not that it's bad. I'm loving it. But uh, the last thing this, th this place needs is a walkway. I do want to have a walkway. There's really not a whole lot. There's really not a whole lot of good place for this to go. Um, I guess it just has to come down here. Uh, but I do kind of want to make like a little staircase coming down from here. So we're going to make something like that real quick and i'm gonna try and do it pretty quick um it doesn't have to be fancy and it's not even really all that uh what's the word i'm looking for like <laughs> we're, we're pretty much trapped up here anyway so you know like uh just i'm just repainting all of this mountain don't forget to do this on your builds it really always it always brings everything together um but yeah i feel like i need a way up here like obviously we can fall down but from every other direction you come at this place, you really can't get in. Um, I really want to be able to come down here, you know, and, uh, oh, we can make a little path through here. Let me see if I can make a little path just for fun. Hang on. Okay, the path doesn't actually go anywhere, but <laughs> I feel like even just having it here is pretty cool. Um... Yeah, even just having that pathway here is pretty cool. Uh, and it would be a lot easier to get to that path from any of these directions than trying to come up and over and fall down all the time. So yeah, we'll have a little bit of a walkway up. Let me go ahead and repaint all of this real quick. Well, I can go back and do that later. That'll be some of the very, very finishing touches. Uh, last but not least here on the little decoration phase, I did really want to have a staircase of some kind. So we need to build this out. All right, so I don't mind this stone. I really don't, but I really don't want that stone all the way on the outside. So whatever we build, we're going to have to put this. Yeah, I really want to put this to be the, the outside that we see. I'm going to go ahead and just build this down all the way. No, I don't want to put a twist in the stairs. If I put a twist in the stairs, it's going to make things really needlessly complicated. We're just going to build it out three then. Three should be fine. And then we'll start build building in our supports. There we go. just wanted to get a little bit of a staggered pattern here, so that's what I'm doing. There we go, and that should be able to continue the whole way. Again, that's going to be really close right here. We may have to turn it out just a little bit right here, but that should be okay as long as it's a walkway, which I think by this point we probably will turn it into a little bit of a walkway. Let's go ahead and start trying to build the stairs down, though, um, before we get too ahead of ourselves. All right, having to improvise a little bit. Ah, no, there we go. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this wants support. So we're having to improvise just a little bit there, but I think I got it. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, I just went back and added a little bit of support uh, underneath. Just kind of solidified everything a little bit more. It didn't do it extremely, I didn't go crazy, um, but we definitely did. Just add in, um, here, I'll just go ahead and tear down one wall so you can see. 
Yeah. Yeah, we just went in and added a little bit of support underneath all of them. We didn't really fill it in solidly. That would have been ridiculous. <laughs> but we made sure that everything was standing up and had support. All right. Now we need to build the walls down this way. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I just noticed we were doing all that in the dark, too. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead and continue building these walls down. This, this, this staircase is becoming much more extravagant than I thought it would be. Not that I'm mad about it. I think it's kind of great, actually, but... But... Uh, man, we are going... We are making... I don't know. It's going to be nice. We're going to try and follow it. It's going to curve along, so it, I don't think we're going to reach the bottom until we get somewhere out here, which is really funny. Um, but that should be alright. I'm going to twist... I think we're going to go out one more time here. Maybe just one more half. There we go. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to grab the hoe again and just kind of try to pull up some of this dirt a little more. There we go. There we go. <laughs> if I'm if you weren't doing it with the like I am, then the easier way to do it would probably be to add one of these underneath to really support it. I'm just kind of quick snapping here. Or in that case, like fake snapping almost. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think we do have to turn the wall one more time. Yes, we do. That'll do it, though. That's going to bring us all the way down. And that looks so cool. That's such an epic staircase to go up to this little castle. It's actually kind of a tiny little castle. It's kind of cool. All right, let's bring these stairs down. It's such an elaborate staircase. Nice, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, that's crazy looking. What an awesome staircase. Oh, okay, so there's a few little pieces I need to fix. And then kind of just the railing itself that I need to go back and smooth out. So I'm just gonna cut this all down to kind of match the, uh, the stairs itself. So I want at least one railing above the whole way, just like this, so. There we go. So as long as it's like, as if you're at the bottom of the stair, then you should be at least head level with, you know, the pieces that I want. That's how I'm going to do it. So like right here, we'll need right there. Yep, 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 yep. And then right there is good. One more here. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to do that. We're going to add in just a little bit more detail that way. There we go. Perfect, perfect. That is fantastic. All right, so now I just need to kind of put some lighting on this. Um, need to kind of re, re, uh, redo all the walls around here just a little bit. Um, not the walls, what am I saying? The, uh, the environment. There's a lot of the environment that I need to just go back over and repaint with this more natural color here. I know I've got to got to be careful not to knock out too much of my uh, my cobblestone upstairs, but uh, that's pretty much it. I think that's going to wrap it up for the decoration phase. I do still have a little bit left to do that I am going to do off camera, but like I said, we're really just going to go and put some lighting here. Um, it's nothing super, it's nothing, not going to be anything super fancy. Um, I'm just going to put a block down, or I'm going to put a, uh, a torch, Yeah, we'll put a torch down every once in a while and then I'm gonna add a block and snap that in so that it'll look like you know we're gonna add those some of those on the way up um, I do need to put in just a little bit of a wall here so I may cut this back just a little bit to square this off so that this actually becomes kind of a uh, there we go so that actually becomes sort of like this walkway 
that you have to come out onto. But really, that's about it. I think that does it for the decorations, guys. I just got to go hang some tapestries, put some hammers and some uh, tools and some weapons down. But yeah, that's how I would decorate this place. Uh, it's just so open. It's a really different from builds that I would normally make. I feel like this would make for a really good like hangout. Like if you had a big multiplayer game going, this makes for a really open, easy access to everything. And then, you know, everybody could meet upstairs and you could have multiple beds upstairs or even multiple tiers. I mean, you could keep going. Um, and there is a whole nother level that you could add another floor to if you really needed to. I'm going to leave it like this for our single player build like I've got going right now. But I really like this. This is pretty darn cozy. Yeah, we just got to throw some meals and stuff on the table and everything. I'm going to go do that off camera, though, because that takes forever. Um, but yeah, that's all I was going to do to decorate this place. I think it looks awesome. I think the, uh, yeah, that staircase really brings it together. That really makes it pop out of the side of the mountain a lot. That's really pretty. Oh, man. Well, hey, everybody. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the decoration phase. I hope it wasn't too dry or boring. I really have no plan. Uh, I really just go in, I make my builds, and then when I decorate, I really just kind of sit there and I kind of feel it out and see what I want to do where and how and whatnot and uh that's kind of what we did i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found some things that you liked oh wait a minute there was one more thing that i was gonna do i had this plan since the beginning and i actually cannot believe that i forgot to do it until this very last moment um all right we're gonna take this spot right here and i'm gonna clip this piece to the floor right there. We're going to do the same thing over here. There. Alright. I really wanted to build this heavy duty looking pillar on either side down to the floor here. I guess I'm going to have to kind of like free place them on the bottom. They don't look like yeah, it looks like it's real. There's a really tight space on the bottom that they don't want to fit to. Beautiful. And then we were just going to pillar down. There we go. I'm not going to put anything on the top because I don't want it to appear through the floor on the top. Um, all I really wanted was just a really solid looking support pier uh, for our upstairs. Um, and I really think this does it. Just like that. It's really solid. Right? Well, the kitchen's kind of in the way and blocking that one, but if it wasn't, then you'd have two of them and they'd be pretty much symmetrical in the room and they'd look really good. And they just provide this, like, awesome illusion of support that it doesn't really need to be there. Like, we've got the wall support. We've got everything we need. It all works out. But, uh, I can't believe I forgot to do this. I think the build just got... I got carried away and I didn't think it needed it because, um... I don't know. I moved on to so many other things so quick. Oh, man. What a build. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Just having those two things in there, those two really big heavy support beams, that just looks really good, I think, personally. Yeah, it just adds a little bit of heftiness to it. We almost need another one or two out here. I don't know. I might experiment with putting one more in, maybe here and acro right across from it, but I don't know. That might clutter the place up. I'm Anyway, I'm talking too much. That's the decoration phase. I know we were in the middle of the outro and I got carried away right there, so I don't even remember where we were, but <laughs> thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And I hope I catch all of you in the next episode. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the decoration phase. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're not going to put any flybys on this one. Uh, this will be just be decorations. If you want to see the build itself with the flybys, check out the previous episode. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the build. Anyway, have a good, have a good, uh, good adventures in your own games. <laughs> I'm rambling. I'm going to go stop talking before I get too carried away. <laughs> I'll see everybody next time.